and welcome. Today we are going to make a box with a train in for the dolls so they can make their own train stations. So I designed the uh, train uh, car, the first one, then a place for the coals and then a few wagons. And then we have the track here. We have the round ones and we have the straight tracks. I also designed and 3D printed a small hinge for the box itself uh, and I'm taking these two pieces, placing them together and using a piece of a middle wire um, to place in uh, the little hole there is in it. Then I am painting that black and I am also painting my train. I'm not showing you that at all because that took kind of like forever and you can paint the train just like you want to. You find the link for my 3D print in the info box below. After painting I am using this true metal silver paint here and I'm just putting a tiny tiny piece of that or a dot on my finger and I'm using that on the hinges to make all the details pop here. Uh, the train I actually painted all the details you will see that later um, but here today it is the box that I want to show you. For the bottom and the lid of the box I am using this template that is three and a half centimeters times five and a half centimeters and I'm cutting two of this thin wood that I have. Then I am using a stir stick for the sides of the box so I'm putting the lid away and using the bottom part. So I got uh, two pieces that is the length of uh, the box here and then I got four pieces that fits in between the two pieces. And now I am just going to take my train, um, what's that called, railways and placing them here on the box because I want them to be on the side. So I am carefully gluing the box together just like you see here. I am using a paper glue. Uh, no wait, I used a tacky glue because that dries a little faster. But you can use a paper glue that will work as well. So first I glued one of the long pieces on there uh, to the edge. And then I am taking one of the tinier pieces and gluing that uh, onto the long piece and out to the edge. And I'm going to do the same here on the other side, just like this, making sure everything is as straight as I can get it. Now I am taking one more of these smaller ones and I'm placing it so that I can have the train track here on the side in the room for itself, just like that. And I'm doing the same on the other side. And then after that, I am placing the last long piece here. After you glue these uh, six pieces together, please, please, please let it dry for at least an hour or two before you continue. Otherwise, you risk everything falling apart. Then I am going to sand the sides here so it's nice and flushed. And I actually used quite some time on this just to make sure it was just like I wanted it to. Now it is time to place the train just like I want it to. So we have the two sides for the curved train pieces or um, rail pieces. Then I want the uh, straight rail here in the middle, two uh, car wagons on top and uh, the train itself and the coal wagon at the bottom. So now I am just measuring out uh, these stir sticks so that it fits perfectly in between. Uh, and right in there where I want it. Sand the ends and then I'm going to glue it in place. Mm -hmm. 
then I cut and sand the next piece again placing that just where we want it in this little box here making room for it and placing it just like that I decided to divide the long rooms at the sides with a tiny piece of this a stir stick here just doing the same measuring cutting sanding and then gluing this little piece in place uh, so there is a tiny room for uh, small things for the train station here you don't need to make the small room but I think it is pretty neat to have that so I'm also doing this on the other side of the little box just uh, marking cutting then sanding and then again gluing it into place. I have some fussy paper, uh, it feels kind of like fabric on top and I just cut a piece that fits under the train wagons so that it looks a little more neat. And I'm just gonna pop that in there and then put the train over that and that is just looking a little bit more um, interesting. And again you really don't need to do that if you don't want to. So now I am placing four curved train um, tracks in each of the side rooms here and four of the straight um, tracks in the middle room. Now for the coal wagon I have these tiny tiny black rocks and I'm going to take a tiny bit of those and mix that with some paper glue and then I'm just going to fill up the train wagon though the coal wagon with this so that it looks like the small pieces of coal that goes into the uh, engine room so just fill that up and leave that to dry before you put it into the box So the glue is now dry and I can oops, place this little coal car into uh, the box. And I took a piece of the stir stick and I cut out a third of the width here. So I just have kind of a little piece of it. And I'm going to glue that onto the lid just as a small extra clothing thing or details on there it's not gonna do much anyway but I'm gonna do it and I'm placing it here in the front um, like that and then you can turn over the lid like this and then it sits inside the box you don't need to do this but I think it's a neat little detail so make sure that is all dry before you continue now I am going to use a tiny bit of tacky glue to glue the hinges on. So I am making sure the lid is uh, turned the right way around. You want the little piece to be away from the hinges. So I'm just gluing them on here like this on the top, making sure they sit correct. And then I'm going to leave that to dry a tiny bit. Then I turn over the lid and place a tiny bit of the I'll glue again on the hinges making sure I'm not getting it onto the wood part here at all because we don't want it to be glued together with the box and then I am just going to place it on the box I have a hair here let me get rid of that um, then I'm just gonna place it on the box like this and making sure that the glue is connected to the side of the box leave that to dry for at least an hour or two before you start playing around with it and that's actually it for the box but i wanted to have some kind of artwork here on the uh, top of the lid to show what's inside so first i framed it and then i sketched out what i wanted it to look like here on the front 
and I just took my time with this. If you don't want to see this, you can always skip to the end of the video to see the pictures of the done result. But otherwise, you can keep on watching and see how I paint this little uh, top part of the box.
I am ending off with a little frame here around the picture and then I am all done with the little box. I had a lot of fun with this project and uh, I hope you will too. I know I didn't show how to paint the train but I think you can uh, figure it out in some way you want to or you can see some of the pictures of my train here in a second. Thank you for watching and happy crafting!